Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Imashri. In today's video, I will show you how to bind Power Apps text input values in a drop down control. For example, whenever the user provides the text input values and click on the add button, then those values will be added to the drop down control. See? Let me show you how to achieve this in a new screen. On the new screen, Insert text input control. Remove the text as text input. Now on the properties pan, change its mode to multi line. Now insert button control. I'll change the button control text as add. And border radius to 20. And I'll change the background color as red. Now set the button on select property to update context of Set, sorry, update context of where request status is to split of. Now I'll change the text input control name as, I'll rename it to txt request status now again button on select property split of text input control name txt request status dot text comma care care 10 Close. Now close the syntax. I will insert the drop down control. I will change the chevron color as red. Set the drop down items property to variable name where request status. Now save and publish the app. Now preview. Provide the text input values. I will provide the text input values as completed in progress now started. Then click on the add button. See. Those values are added to the drop down control. This is how we can bind the text input values to a drop down control. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get free video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.